Hi everyone, Ms. Stillman here. This is the homework six key. If you look at question one, there's some details in the question, the 72 foot shadow and the angle of elevation of the sun, which is 40 degrees. But what's great is there, those things are already labeled on the diagram. The part that we have to figure out is how tall is the building to nearest foot? How tall is the building means the X goes onto the height of the building right there. That is across from the 40 degrees, so that's the opposite side and then the 72 is adjacent. That means we're doing tan. Tan of some angle theta is opposite over adjacent. Now I've already written down over here, tan 40 from the 40 degree angle is opposite x over adjacent 72. And now we have to cross multiply. One times x is x. Tan 40 times 72, put the 72 in front, then the tan 40. And then we should go to our calculator. Make sure our calculator is in degree mode. I'm, I'm good to go. And now 72 tan 40, close parentheses, 60.41517 dot dot dot. And they want it to the nearest foot. Nearest foot means whole number. That's 60. Take a look at your answer. Oh, no answer choices. So that's the answer. Okay, x is 60. In number two, we're asked which equation is not correct. So I've done a lot of labeling already on my diagram. What I did was I started with cosine A and tan A, which is all over here, A. So anything I've written in this dark green is coming from angle A. Opposite is 16, adjacent is 12. The hypotenuse will always be 20 for this question. So if you take a look, adjacent being 20, and sorry, adjacent being 12 and the hypotenuse being 20 is correct. Same as 16 being opposite and 12 being adjacent. That works for cosine, that works for tangent. So now we know one and two are both correct. Now we're gonna switch gears and look at angle B. Both sine B and tan B are involving angle B. Now that's all in this squiggly. Opposite, I put a squiggly to help you visualize. That's opposite, adjacent to the B. Again, squiggly to help you visualize. That 16 is adjacent. When you come over here to your answer choices, sine B is properly set up, opposite over hypotenuse. But tan B is supposed to be opposite over adjacent. 16 being adjacent and, and 20 being hypotenuse is not correct. That's why 4 is wrong. Number 3, what I've done is I'm looking for something that could be used, meaning something that could be true to find angle D. And um, all the choices are about sine and cosine. So I'm going to write down sine D and put the numbers in the proper places, same as cosine D, adjacent over hypotenuse. Take a look at where those belong, and you'll see that sine D being 12 over 13 is answer choice four. One of these is correct. This is the only one listed in the multiple choice. Question four. Okay. So now we're looking for the measure of angle A to nearest tenth of a degree. X is angle A. 11.2 is opposite. 18.3 is adjacent. That means we need tan. So now we write down that tan A is equal to opposite over adjacent. The opposite side being 11.2 and the adjacent side being 18.3. Now to get angle A all by itself, we need inverse tan. Tan negative 1 of 11.2 divided by 18.3. Again, we need our calculator. Second will get us the inverse tan. There you go, tan negative one. 11.2 divided by 18.3. Get 31.46, dot, dot, dot. Nearest tenth, it's about 31.5. The next question has two parts. The first part is determining to nearest foot how far the bottom of the pipe is from the base of the fence. The pipe is here, the base of the fence is over there. That amount is the unknown X, and 40 going across the nine foot fence is opposite, and next to it, X is the adjacent, so that's tangent. We cross multiply X, tan 48. Nine times one is nine. We wanna get the X by itself, so get rid of the tan 48 with division. When you divide that out, x is, well, let's see, 9 divided by tan, a lot of tangents in this homework, 48, okay, 8.1036 dot dot dot, 8.10363 dot dot dot, nearest foot, 8 feet. 
that's a whole number. Okay, but then a second question, a follow-up question is asking to determine the nearest foot to, of the length of the metal pipe. Well, that's the amount here. I just redrew the triangle. Usually when there's a follow-up question, it helps to redraw the triangle and put the numbers that you know. So we knew the nine foot fence from the previous part. We didn't know adjacent until we solved for the eight. So now I can write eight, nine, eight, and the unknown y. That is the hypotenuse. We can do Pythagorean theorem or trig, but we might as well do Pythagorean theorem. It's nice and easy. Nine squared is 81. 8 squared is 64 is y squared. Oh, side note, use a different variable here than you do up there. The x side is the adjacent. The metal pipe is a new variable. That's y. Okay. Add it together, you get 145 is equal to y squared. We square root both sides. You get 12.04159 dot 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 is y nearest, but that's 12. 